In this problem, a ball is kicked from a point on a flat horizontal field. It has initial speed 9 metres per second and leaves the ground at an angle of four, uh, 61 degrees. So, visually, this is what's going on. So here's the ball flying through the air, hits the ground. Now it's got an initial speed of 9 metres per second and an, at an angle of 61 degrees to the horizontal. Okay? So, what we want to do is we want to set up the horizontal and vertical SUVAT equations. So, SUVAT, SUVAT information. Okay? So, um, what have we got? The initial speed is 9 metres per second. So, the horizontal component will be 9 cosine 61 and the vertical component will be 9 sine 61. Uh, we don't know s, we don't know v. Uh, the acceleration is 0 for the horizontal and minus 9.8 for the vertical. Uh, we don't know the t. Okay, so, so I want to find the ball's time of flight. So now the ball will fly through the air and hit the ground. That's when its vertical displacement will be 0. Okay, so I'm looking at this bit here when uh, the ball hits the ground. So I want to find the time. So I want the equation that doesn't have the v in it. Um, so I'm going to go with number 3 here to find f, to find um, t. Okay, so number 3. So we've got s equals ut plus 1 half a t squared. Now the s is 0. The u is the 9 sine 61. Okay, and I don't know t. The a is minus 9.8, half of that is minus 4.9, so minus 4.9 t squared. So in order to solve that, you can either solve, your, solve it using your quadratic formula, okay, or the fact that this factorises, because you factor the t out, leaving you with 9 sine 61, take away 4.9 t. Okay, now t is 0 is a solution because that's where you're starting from. Okay, so the, the vertical displacement, it makes sense that t is 0 is a solution. But we want to focus on over here. So it'll be coming from this equation here. So 9 sine 61, take 4.9t is 0. So 9 times sine of 61 is 7.87. Divide by the 4.9, and I get t is 1.6064436. So 1.6 seconds to two significant figures. Okay, that's how long the ball is in the air. So that's your part A. So part B, the horizontal range of the ball before it hits the ground. So how far has it gone in total? Now for this, I'm going to need the horizontal component. Okay, for s. Now I know now that the time I'm looking at is 1.6. Okay, so I want to find the horizontal displacement. I don't want the one with v, and so I would use number three again. So s equals ut plus a half a t squared. Okay, now the s is what I want. Now the u is 9 cosine 61 times by the 1.6, so ut, plus a half a t squared. Well, a is 0, okay? And so it's just 9 cos 61 times 1.6. So times what I've got in my calculator still by 9 times cos of 61. And that gets me 7.009, so 7.0 uh, metres to two significant figures, okay? And there is my answer.